Welcome to Diversity Extra with your host, Don McNeely. And hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us today on Diversity Extra. I'm Don McNeely, and uh, we appreciate you taking time from, from your busy schedules to, uh, to join us. Uh, our program today, we're going to be featuring uh, on the program uh, Gerald Grimes. Gerald Grimes is the president of uh, IDM Products. And, uh, Gerald, thank you so much, for, and welcome to the program. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. Gerald, uh, you know, uh, as an entrepreneur, uh, you've done a number of things over the years. I guess, uh, you know, there's a saying that uh, in many cases we're uh, serial entrepreneurs, those that are in the entrepreneurial space. Can you talk a bit about some of the early years, some of the things that you did early on, if you would? Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Again, thank you for having me. And, um, you know, you, you're asking me a question. I feel like I'm, uh, I've conquered father time uh, at the <laughs> moment here when, when I start thinking back on to uh, exactly um, all the platforms, all the companies that I've started. Um, you know, <clears throat> I guess uh, what started all was, when I was a photographer, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, I actually worked for you, had the pleasure of, oh. and, and and I I have to, you know, admit to the 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 you know you opened up the door you know for what 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 was to come ahead. Right, right. right. Um, so being a photographer, you know, I, that kicked um, you know my world off in terms of an entrepreneur, and I got a chance to to dive into the corporate world. And uh, understand how that works, and and not just being a photographer, but the business side of it. Uh, that that was the 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 thing that really got the ball rolling. Understand how to conduct business, not just being a a person behind the camera, but uh, how do you conduct your business? You know, uh, how do you go out there and get the customers? Um, and then you know, of course, that that led to me opening up, um, you know, getting into the laundry side of the business, uh, dry cleaning. Uh, started off with dry cleaning, you know bought a couple stores, and then that led to uh, other con contracts that I was able to, you know, uh, get into in terms of uh, bigger bi Fortune 500 business, bigger companies, uh, bigger contracts, you know, that type of stuff. So um, it's been a whirlwind, you know, 32 years, been an entrepreneur, several businesses under my belt. Uh, you know, I still have four of them that, that are still running today, uh, in addition to IDM products which is the newest, greatest, uh, uh, you know, thing that I think IDM products is really the crown jewel of, of everything that I've done thus far. And then we can talk about more, more about that. Exactly, exactly. And we'll get into that in just a minute. But you mentioned the, uh, you know, cleaning and laundry business that uh, you started that's been very successful that, uh, that, that I know of. And, and, I, and knowing you as I do, I'm, I'm sure they're very successful enterprises. And it kind of makes me think that maybe you're the modern-day George Jefferson, <laughs> uh, uh, if you will. <laughs> so, which is not bad. I, I, mean, I have no problem being compared yeah. to George Jefferson. That's right. You know. Mo moving on up. Absolutely. Moving Absolutely, penthouse in the sky. That's right. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, look, uh, Gerald. Tell me this. Uh, uh, tell me a little bit about IDM Products and uh, exactly what you do in that business. Sure. So, IDM Products is a, um, a distribution, online distribution company. Um, you know, we we source products uh, nationwide. We're a nationwide company, and uh, you know, anything from Jan Sand, which is janitorial janitorial sanitation, is what Jan Sand stands for. Uh, office supplies. <clears throat> lighting, <clears throat> office, um, any, any office products, you know, again, Jan Sam products, uh, food service, break room supplies, any of that stuff is, is what we service, uh, is, is what we sell. Uh, and it goes beyond that. You know, it can go in, uh, from plumbing goods, uh, anything in the manufacturing world. Uh, we, so our customers, we, we kind of create that. I, I hate to use the, the terminology of one-stop shop, but our customers are demanding. Mm -hmm. And they love to just deal with one source, if possible, and we allow them to, um, you know, to use us as that one source. So, uh, Gerald, so IDM uh, is a national company. Absolutely. Okay, so a, a national footprint, uh, national reach. Um, so, uh, in terms of uh, the ideal customer, 
for IDM. What would that look like? Who would that look like uh, uh, in terms of the major corporations? Uh, any 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 names pop to mind that uh, you'd like to do business with? Oh, absolutely. I- any of the Fortune uh, 500 companies down to the comp- uh, Fortune 100 companies, uh, government agencies, uh, educational, uh, higher education uh, entities, uh, state agencies. Uh, heck, for that matter, uh, you know, any small companies that can use our business. So we, we have no no boundaries on who we'll do business with. <clears throat> so it's it's pretty wide open. Uh, so, you know, as we talk about uh, the, the, the company uh, and um, the supply diversity business network uh, that uh, that we uh, that we're working in, that you're working in, mm-hmm. uh, the uh, minority business network, what uh, would you like for the uh, audience uh, and and your customers to really know and understand about uh, IDM that would uh, you know be a value add or a, a advantage to them. Uh, well, and that's just it. We we are a value add company. Um, for instance, uh, and I'll give you an example. Uh, uh, we just recently signed. A, a, a have a pretty significant customer um, in the in the marketplace. Uh, their their footprint is worldwide. And the, the relationship started off as um, office supplies. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, they, they, they needed simple office supplies. Well, lo and behold, one thing led to another. One of the purchasing, uh, the buyers had an issue and needed some, some, some products sourced, other products outside of what we were giving him. And he just started complaining about uh, the customer service side of it, you know, his vendors. And I listened to him and I said, hey, I can help you with that. And... <laughs> you know, it, it led to a, a heck of a relationships in terms of all the buyers uh, coming to me for products that are way outside of our scope. But, you know, we have the tenacity and the understanding of, of how to go and get those products. So the customer service is key, you know, to cust- uh, to bigger customers that are demanding. Uh, all they want to do is, you know, hey, they want to hear a voice. You know, they, they want to talk to you. They want someone to hear, listen to them and, and, and execute. And that's what we do. Exactly. Um well, customer service is certainly key uh, oh, yes. in the business space. In the ger- it's paramount. paramount. It, as they say, it's critical, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, look, uh, in terms of uh, your business as you've uh, journeyed along over the years, um, generally there, uh, you know, there are mentors and, you know, individuals that uh, have made a significant difference uh, in your success. Uh, have you had any mentors that you've worked with or uh, anybody that's uh, kind of been there to give you some direction and, and, and uh, this type of thing? Oh, absolutely I have. Uh, you know, uh, I'm not, uh, though I'd like to say I've gotten here on my own, that, that'd be a lie, okay? <laughs> um, as a matter of fact, uh, I'll mention one guy that you might know, a guy by the name of Don McNeely was instrumental in, in helping me get to, uh, to, to where I am today. So, you know, there's guys like, you know, can I name names? Oh, absolutely. You know, Martin Burrell. Sure, sure. You know, he was very instrumental in helping me uh, with the American Airlines Center. Absolutely. Uh, uh, relationship. So, yes, absolutely. There are, there are several other people that I could, you know, you know name drop that that, were, that was very instrumental, you know, plus my, you know, family members, you it, know, uh, friends. Exactly. Uh, that have been instrumental in support. You exactly. Know, to get to, to where I am today. Exactly. Uh, you know, as we talk about uh, mentors and uh, and and the journey and and, and support, uh, you know, it's generally said that there's always uh, what we would call a defining moment uh, in your business <laughs> as you've come along, and uh, and I think we've all had these defining moments. Uh, you know, is there anything that stands out with you as a defining moment that maybe really made some difference in terms of uh, your success? Uh, and if you if that hadn't happened, then maybe it would have gone the other direction rather than success. It would be less than success. <laughs> so <clears throat> there's one defining moment that comes to the table that either was going to make me or break me. And I'll, I'll make this quick. No, no take um, your time. <laughs> so when I was awarded the contract at the American Airlines Center uh, 18 years ago, ah. <clears throat> I didn't know what the hell I was stepping into. Uh, I thought it was going to be just a quick dry cleaning, deliver the goods, you know, pick up the goods, deliver them, and that's it. I had no idea that uh, what I was in store for in terms of the mechanics uh, and, and the demand of, of the of the contract. Uh, lo and behold, was I ready? No. 
Um, did I have to get ready pretty fast? Absolutely. Yeah. So going through that and all the 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 up the, the ups and downs, the pits and the valleys. Yeah. Um, it, it it trained me again to to get to where I am today in terms of tenacity, in terms of you know really giving me a gut check on hey if you're gonna do this here's what it's gonna take. Exactly. So so absolutely that, that was there was a I could think back uh, in that first year. Uh, the the challenge, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and again, it, it laid the platform, mm-hmm. you know, uh, would I do it all over again? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But, Absolutely. but, but, but I, I do think, uh, uh, when, when, as you mentioned that, I, I, a lot of things are going through my head yeah. on, on what yeah. I went through to, yeah. to, you know, n- number one, to, to execute, sure. you know, the sure. contract and, sure. and everything that it took. Yeah, and I appreciate all of the learning, yeah. the, the learning curve, you know, the experience. And after getting through that, everything became easy, easier. Yeah, yeah. You know, easier. in terms of knowing that okay, if I can get through that, that's pretty much not nothing yeah. I can't overcome. Sure, sure, you know? exactly. So yes, yeah, so there. That's that's the defining moment. That's the def- that that's top of my list. Absolutely, absolutely. You know? Well, thanks for sharing that, Gerald. Um, you mentioned uh, American Airlines Center. And uh, we know that uh, American Airlines, uh, the, um, uh, the airline company, for instance, uh, is very involved in supplier diversity and minority and women-owned business. And um, uh, so, and, and, and uh, of course, these companies generally require that minority businesses are certified so they can, uh, you know, count uh, the spend and, uh, and, uh, and work to develop those relationships. So... Uh, as we talk about uh, supplier diversity and certification, uh, are there any organizations that you've worked with uh, in terms of being certified, like the Dallas-Fort Worth Minority Supplier Development Council? Uh, have you had a chance to work with them? Absolutely. <clears throat> so I've been involved with the council for a number of years. Um, <laughs> initially, I, I took the certification. Well, I went through the certification, and they were very helpful in getting me to get through the process. <clears throat> you know, initially when I first started it, you know, I was green. You know, I didn't really understand the, the, the real value of it. And and same on me for not understanding the value of it <clears throat> until in, until my later years. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. then all of a sudden a light went on and I started kicking myself for not taking advantage of all the tools that they gave me. Okay. Or that, that was there. Right, right. You know, but you have to take advantage of it. Exactly. So, so at the end of the day, um, now I take advantage of those tools. I take advantage of everything that they have to offer, uh, the, the, uh, from the vendor fairs, which is, which is you know, very dear to me, you know, because, it, you know, they give me a platform, you know, to showcase my business and to talk to the people that they put in front of us uh, in terms of the, the supply, I mean, the, um, the, the purchasing um, organizations. And mm-hmm. you know, I couldn't get that on my own. I mean, it's just not possible. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, um, in terms of uh, uh, being certified uh, as, as a minority owned business, um, uh, what would you say maybe a, a, a value is or added value or an advantage to being certified uh, maybe has meant and maybe will mean to your business? Well, well no, let's go back to the first one has meant uh, meant to yeah <clears throat> um, access uh-huh access 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 um, yep. again yeah uh, I'll be truthful there's for me to reach some of the 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 buyer some of the companies that they put in front of me mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or us mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it wouldn't be possible yeah yeah it, it just wouldn't be so you get a chance to see a lot uh, of a absolutely. lot of companies in maybe one gathering uh, uh, and through one organization, whereas it would take you a long time to reach those yeah, it's companies like, otherwise. It's like a kid in a candy store. Yeah, yeah, you exactly. Know? So now, you know, it, it's up to me to, to, to nurture those relationships. You know, yeah. uh, it, it, they've done their part. They gave me a platform. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so, absolutely. That, so the council, uh, <laughs> I can't think enough. Again, I just kick myself for not taking advantage of it in early, the earlier years. Exactly. But it's never too late. Exactly. You know, uh, even yeah. for folks that want to get, you know, want to, want to get certified the process is simple okay um you know they they have helpful people at the council 
you know, that'll walk you through it. Okay. Uh, and that, at the end of the day, you're going to get vetted. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you go through that vetting process and, um, you know, you're off to the races. Okay. Now, uh, you know, I think uh, sometimes the, uh, uh, the thinking might be that uh, it's a long, drawn-out process to get certified. Uh, did you find it to, to be a fairly simple process and fairly quick to get Less certified? Less than 30 days I got Less than 30 days. Yeah, less than 30 days. Wow. That's great. And and I probably have, to date, three companies, maybe four, three for sure that are certified. Okay. Absolutely. So if that tells you anything. Absolutely. 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 Well, let let, let me me, uh, switch gears here just a little bit and uh, talk about, uh, you know, minority business and uh, maybe um, some of the challenges uh, that you think that minority businesses uh, face today. What what seems to be a challenge out there, you think? What's going to be the old adage? Um, You know, it's going to be access to capital. You know, that's going to be the the biggest challenge. And, and, And the other... You know, it's going to be access to, um, you know, getting business, you know, getting your feet off the ground, you know, and and executing. Mm -hmm, Um, mm -hmm. You know, how do you how do you execute, you know, once you get a big customer? You know, the the challenge is being able to, you know, satisfy the customer, you know, uh, and uh, it's, every time it's going to be customer service, customer service, customer yep. service. Yeah, but, you know, is it going to be one underlying issue? No, it's going to be several. I, exactly. You know, capital, yeah. uh, executing, customer yeah. service. Exactly. You know, so, again, as a small, as an entrepreneur, these are just some of the things that you're just going to have to, you know, uh, wade through. You know? Exactly, exactly. Uh, well, in terms of uh, the um, climate for minority businesses, uh, does it seem to be better today uh, than in past years? Have you seen uh, <laughs> Have you seen that uh, changing for minority businesses? Yes, yes. Uh, t- t- uh, to your point, it's it's better than uh, today, <clears throat> as far as I can see, and been yeah. based on you know I've been doing this. I mean, thirty two years and in, in, in being an entrepreneur, so yeah, yeah. Uh, that the climate is much better. Number one, because of platforms that you bring to the table. Uh, you know, uh, platforms like the council, uh, the the access that they give us. So that allows, you know, guys like me, little companies like me, small companies like me, uh, again, if we have access and if you have the intestinal fortitude, uh, that, you know, there's, just, there's no reason that you should fail. <clears throat> so the climate is much better today than it was yesterday. Now, you know, uh, more and more corporations seem to be um, doing business with uh, minority-owned businesses uh, today. And uh, what do do you think maybe is uh, is, uh, maybe one of the drivers or maybe some of the primary motivation for that? Uh, Any thinking around that at all? Yeah, you know, uh, one thought is, you know, talent. You know, looking for more talent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, that's one. I mean, I'm sure there's several. But, you know, um, you know, I can appreciate that, you know, the the one to to diverse, you know, uh, or accept diversity. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. You know, of course, like any other, you know, group of people, you know, mm-hmm, we, mm-hmm. we all um, have apples that mm-hmm. will, yeah. you know, that, that will shine. Sure. Absolutely. You know? um, so, you know, again, I can appreciate, um, you know, companies that want to use minority uh, p- participation in, in what they do. Um, you know, we're, we're very, very, you know, um, capable, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, so mm-hmm. I think the talent is here, you know, it just needs to be tapped into. Absolutely. So a- I, I, absolutely. I, that's even the playing field and, and, and give us an opportunity to, you know, to, to make it happen. And I think we can, we can definitely uh, step up to the challenge. Absolutely. Well, let me, let me ask you, Gerald, in terms of, um, um, community involvement as a as an entrepreneur, mm-hmm. uh, you know the uh, minority community is um, uh, always looking for leaders uh, and role models for the uh, um, for the young folks. Uh, relative to any involvement that you might have uh, in the community or uh, um, leadership uh, um, types of things, uh, any any any, uh, any thoughts around that uh, involvement that you might might have uh, community involvement well, and, yes. and and how important is community yeah. involvement? Well, well, it's very important. It's very important. Um, and I'll give you an example with uh, with my laundry comp- company, Corporate Cleaning Solutions. Right. <clears throat> so we have a. Um, 
sixty thousand square foot facility that we're that we're building right now. Right. Uh, we're probably about sixty days out from opening up the doors. Yes. And and personally, I we're going to probably have about one hundred and forty plus employees. Right. So I want to create a program for the younger generation if they have an interest in the hospitality in the medical world in terms of laundry sure. in the service business sure. I want to create a platform where they can come and learn the business oh, that's learn how great. to operate machinery you know um, you know uh, take that knowledge you know and, and move up the ladder so you know out of those 140 people you know I'm hoping that I can get you know heck at least a third you know, of that workforce to, to want to come in and learn the business and, and, and scale up. And, and, hey, look here, and I'll be honest with you, um, is, it a, is it a hard business? Absolutely. What business is not hard? Right. But will you learn a lot? Yeah. And can you take those that, that learning tool with you to somewhere else? Absolutely, you can take it somewhere else. Absolutely. So, so that's, that's my way of giving back. That's my way of being involved. Sure, uh, sure. And, and, and bringing, um, you know, just giving back. Yeah, you know, exactly. So, so that's something that I'll be looking forward to. So that's uh, sort of like uh, an intern program to some degree, and uh, well, not uh, not just intern. Okay, you know, this this is this is a career. Okay, okay, this yeah. is, this this is full body work. Yeah, it's full body. This is this, this is where wherever you wanted to go, yeah. is there. Okay, you know, I got employees that that have been with me for ten years, right? Twelve years, right? It's still there. Exactly, exactly. Still there and doing fine. Exactly. You know, and, and want to go to the next level. Exactly. You know, so so you make it what you want to make it. You exactly. Know, you want to stay there one month or, you, or one year or ten years. Yeah. You know, it, the, the platform is there. Exactly. Okay. Well, you know, um, uh, in terms of uh, our listening audience that would like to do business with uh, IDM products, mm-hmm. What is the best way for them to reach you and and, and find out, uh, you know, exactly what the company does and and how they can plug into what you do? Well, thank you for that. So I would encourage anyone that wants to do business with IDM products to uh, visit our website, www.idmproducts.com. You can reach me, Gerald, at idm.products.com. I'll say it again, Gerald, at idmproducts.com. You know, send us an email, you know, reach out to us, call us. Uh, I'll give you my personal cell phone number because I answer it all the time. Yes, sir. 972-345-3952. Uh, we'd love to do business with uh, any size company. We're very capable. And, uh, again, we're nationwide. We have a footprint, um, you know, probably. We can probably cover 90% of the U.S. within one to two days in terms of drop shipping products. So. Sounds good. Uh, Gerald, can you give them that uh, website address and your, your phone number address again? Sure. Sure. Website, www.idmproducts.com, and the phone number, 972-345-3952, and I promise you, I will pick up the phone. Absolutely. (laughs) Well, we'll see if we can uh, get some uh, calls coming your way, Gerald. We certainly appreciate you taking time, Gerald, uh, to uh, visit with us here on Diversity Extra, and uh, we'll look forward to having you back again real soon. Thank you. So as we wrap up, we would like to thank our audience uh, for joining us today, and uh, have a great day. And uh, be sure to check us out, uh, Diversity Extra, and that's uh, X-T-R-A, no E, Diversity Extra uh, at YouTube, diversityextra.com. Thank you so much and have a great day.